Okay, hey guys. Um, today I'll be revealing the revelation effect and how to read the mind and uh, how the revelation effect is done. Okay, few things that you will need to kn know first is um, it does need a prop, which is this. Um, a card doesn't need to be a playing gar card, a business card is what he, the person use it, uh, used in the mind reading effect but uh, in, the, in the video of the revelation effect they didn't show you the part of where the person writes down the name that they're thinking of and that, that kind of pissed me off because that wasn't part of the deal so I'm just revealing it to you so that you don't waste your money and uh, it's such a small thing and then all three methods like think of a card, think of a name and think of an object they are all three precisely the same uh, the same method and they all, all three cost like twelve dollars uh, but when you know the method you know how to do the other two so this is what you gotta do right Firstly, also, mind reading does not exist. Um, it's pretty stupid um, because it's yeah, it's pretty fake. But uh, this is what you gotta do: you take a business card or a playing card, right? And uh, this is what how you're gonna fold it because uh, it's pretty important because you're gonna peek at the name when uh, well when they write it on is what you want to do you fold the card in half but not not exactly in half you want about I don't know half an inch sticking out from the top don't make it a big thing just about like that is good that's good too got it I'm just gonna leave mine like this now you gotta fold it inwards right inwards this part this flappy part outside not inside outside okay and then you just square up that crease now you'll be picking the name will be about there right there and from the front it just looks pretty normal I can right see into that name I, c I can see right into what you wrote there but uh, from the front it does it looks pretty normal this is what you're gonna do you're gonna say uh, it's not really we can't really see through this and you're peeking and you're done and you hand it back this is what you want to do you you want to force the spectator you'll see um, I've got one big block another big block and two smaller blocks right you want them to write when you got the two bigger blocks on your left side you want uh, you want them to write it in the right one so this is from my angle so here are the small two blocks you want them to write the name there All right? And you're gonna force them to write the name right there and this is how it's gonna look you got a prepared one here um, where it looks like this where you're just scrabbling there you're just testing the pen right you're not really testing a pen, this is what it will look like. You're just saying, okay, well, let's just test this. And then, you're like making two lines, and you just say, okay, don't make a big thing out of this, right? Just remember that. I got like caught three times, because I made a big thing out of it. Then you just draw a line, anyways, you just draw a line in that right, th the right smallest corner without the number without the card number this one want them to write it on that line right so don't be like just write it on that line just be like okay just write the name there yeah just there that's good that's that's perfect and then you just turn your back you have them put a name there an object or whatever if it's an object draw black and have them put it in there and uh, if it's card, let them just say two of clubs or whatever. And then you ask them to fold the card with the fold, right? Not their own stuff. Just 
do it normally, right? Then uh, I already know, wrote a name here, so I'm using Mike. Okay, so I'm just folding it with the fold. And this is what you're gonna do. Okay, you've got it like this. You want them when they hand you this card. There's a certain way you gotta hold it, and where you gotta hold it. You'll see this is a V, right? And there are closed edges on this side and open edges on this side where the flap is. You want the flap to be on your right hand, right? And uh, you want the closed e edges at your left hand. You want that corner right there, okay? You want it right there. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna put your thumb on that edge right there, okay? So that when you push forward, you open that flap and it looks pretty normal and this is just slow motion then you're gonna tilt that back and take a look at that name in there which will be uh, Mike I'm not sure if you can see that uh, this is from normal view this this is from my view wait uh, hold on not sure uh, I'm just closing up the name there you can see that but from the front, it looks pretty normal. It just looks like you're just saying, "Okay, well, uh, there's no way." I just put my thumb there. There's no way. There's no way I can actually see through this. You take a peek at the name, and you just turn it around. Say good. Okay, you know what? And then you just say you distract, and you say, "You know what? Uh, hold that, or just put it in your pocket." And then you ask for the pen. You d you make a big thing out of the pen. You say, okay, just give me the pen, yeah, just quick, thanks, okay, um, yeah, I'll just put the pen in my pocket, and then you just pocket the pen, whatever, and then, uh, then, then you gotta have a whole big misdirection, you want them to forget about this card, okay, this card shouldn't be important anymore, okay, you want them to keep it in their pocket, but don't rip it up, okay, so, then you say, okay, um, Think of the person. Imagine them walking towards you. Uh, do a whole scene. Do whatever you like. And uh, you really want a big misdirection. You want them to forget about this card. Okay? The bigger the misdirection, the better. And then, at the end, you'd be like, uh, Okay, um, I think his name was, was like, it's uh, kind of spelling out to me. Um, was it something with an, uh, it was an M? I'm getting M. Mike, do what you want, okay? Do what you want, and then uh, as they as they wow themselves, ask them for this card, as if you you're making sure you were right. So then you open up the card and you're looking and you're seeing, hey, okay, good, good, and then you're tearing that thing up, throw it away, make sure no one sees this thing, right? Not ever, because. Uh, they might see how you did it, and uh, another thing too, they might, I mean, you don't want them to see the card and thinking, hey, okay, actually wrote my name on that card, what if you picked? They might figure it out. You want them to think that you actually wrote, read their mind, right? So, presentation is very, very important. Okay, um, and believe me, guys, do not waste your money. This is the real effect. I wanted to post the real video um, of him showing the tutorial, but it's got copyright, and the video was too long. It was like 40 minutes, and uh, I had to get a special YouTube license for it. So I'm not revealing. Uh, I'm not showing the actual. I'm not posting the actual video. So, a couple of guys had some shout outs and asked me to make a tutorial. So, this is the tutorial. Believe me, guys, this really is the real mind reading effect. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy it. And, well, yeah, just tell me what you think, please. Really, I'm, I'm gonna get some card, card tricks and magic tricks from David Blaine, Chris Angel. Uh, Daniel Garcia, a lot of Daniel Garcia, and a lot of Dan and Dave, because uh, I got their DVDs now, 
and uh, a lot of tricks. Awesome trips, impromptu. I'm gonna see if I can do no gimmicks, um, no gimmicks at all because I live in Switzerland. They don't sell bicycle decks here, so I, I gotta ship them every time. I don't have the money or time to ship in gimmicks for one trick. I, I really like doing impromptu tricks. So please tell me what you think. And really, if there are any questions or more tips, um, tell me. Let me know, okay? And, uh, oh yeah, peace out. Enjoy your mind reading or mentalism or magic, whatever you want to call it.